All right, we got a bunch of parts in, and a bunch of these parts is in preparation for uh, building a few Unity gain buffers for my Super Eagle, our Pseudo Eagle, Super Eagle style guitar. Um, I got a, all these parts is basically from schematics I found online of different Unity gain buffers, and I'm hoping that this video will be short and sweet for everyone, but still add value. Uh, I may just do a direct upload from my phone, so I don't have to go through the computer and such, but Tata Electronics is where I source all these. I'm not sponsored by them uh, at all. I don't get a discount, but if you go on their Facebook page, this is sort of a tip. This is a genuine tip. If you go on their Facebook page, Tata Electronics, Facebook, whatever, uh, they usually will have a 15% off coupon. So if you're in the middle of the month, they usually post it, and it lasts for about a week. But So if you're into pedal building or want to get into pedal building, I highly recommend Tata Electronics for a good start because their selection, it's not like Mauser.com, which if you're a little bit more advanced and know exactly the part that you want and the quality that you want and the name brand, Mauser is a better place for that. But if you're just starting to get into pedal building and you don't want that sort of fog of part selection, Tata has, this is how I started. This is why I'm sharing with you. But it's also good for a quick fix to sort of get all the parts that you need. Um, they also have some unique stuff uh, that you won't find on Mauser that is specific for pedal building. So, highly recommend that. I'll show you what I got going on over here. For research, I'm doing, I'm basically I found a few tag boards online, so it's gonna be my first time building a, well, no, I, I built a tag board in college, but or strip board, sorry. And, the um, JCF preamp in the Super Eagle 2 has this chip in it, the NE5534. So I started looking up uh, circuits that use that and, and typed in Unity Gain. And sure enough, I came across a few tag boards from the Grateful Dead tone chasing community um, for Unity Gain preamps that they've been installing in their guitar and chase, you know, basically tracing some preamps that are is available through other vendors uh, in the in the Jerry Garcia community. So I'm sort of starting to acquire all the parts here to build a few of these things. First, on the left, we have the CB1's uh, Custom Audio Electronics. I don't think that this is at all related to the CAE uh, Bob Bradshaw friends. But um, actually, I know it's not... Uh, but there's a lot of similarities in this circuit from what I can tell from the JCF preamp. So I want to build this one as sort of my baseline to understand a little bit more of what's going on. I don't know if I mentioned this before, but um, I'm simulating my trace of the JCF preamp. And there's been a little, I think I have an issue either with the emu uh, simulation software or with the circuit itself. So I decided I would build uh, sort of these strip boards first. So on the left we have that. This one's a very wide band. Wide band meaning it's not cutting off any frequencies. Uh, you need to gain buffer. And on the right here, if you listen to the, the Dean Del Rey's podcast with John Mayer recently, John sort of is circling the Jerry Garcia drain and honing in on the... And I use that in a, in a positive way, by the way. Um sort of narrowing down into the Jerry Garcia thing, and especially this last tour, the 2019, where you saw that he had the triple humbuckers, which was sort of definitely my inspiration and jumping off point. Because I never really thought the middle split thing was re like the right approach. I knew the middle pickup was a, a good thing, but just doing some research on you know how to achieve Jerry Garcia tone... And that just my own experimentation with my custom shop 69's uh, middle pickup position. Ah, oh, man, that sounds so much like a Jerry Garcia thing. Uh, my strat. So I, th you know, I sort of gave John the benefit of the doubt, having so much uh, experience and gear availability. But it sounds like he's sort of coming back around to just a unity gain buffer. 
and the middle pickup position. So if you saw his Honey guitar recently on the on the fall run, um, it's it looks like there's two switches, but I think those switches are not for Unity Gain. I think it's an always-on Unity Gain buffer. And he talks about Tiger being just a Unity Gain buffer. This is the preamp. So if you wanted to build your own, this is all available online. I'll post it on my um, website, thetonegeek.com. Um, and also give links to the uh, to who did the trace to begin with. Additionally, there's the CBD, CB2, not CBD, all the rage nowadays, the CBD oil or whatever. But um, the CB2 preamp in the Grateful Dead community, it's the CB, CB2 preamp or the CB1 preamp that a lot of folks like to put in their Jerry Garcia-inspired guitars. So I thought this wouldn't be a bad place to start. Additionally, when I was on that Tate Electronics website, I typed in buffer, and this is a Klon buffer. So if you eliminate the sort of tone manipulation and overdrive part of the Klon, you get a Klon buffer. And that Klon buffer, which is uh, what was what did, what did he say? The the owner um, almost always better switch. That's because it goes through the buffer. And so here is a very stripped down. Just is the buffer. I'm gonna build this one first. Put it in the guitar because I think this could be a good alternative for no more than ten bucks, six dollars for the board, and just a couple of extra dollars for the uh, for the parts versus, you know, going online and the CB2 or the CB1 preamps are, I think, $80 or so. So if you're into doing it yourself, this might be a great option. I'm going to build this first, put it in the guitar, look how small it is, and go from there. This is sort of inspiring me size-wise and such to, once I build, build the JCF preamp and I, you know, confirm the circuit, I'm going to try to fabricate a circuit board, you know, have it outsource, of course. But I think that that's sort of my ultimate goal is to fabricate a JCF preamp with a circuit board software, KeyCAD specifically, get it down to the size, and then either make a pedal with it in it and or mod guitars with that preamp installed and try to get as small as possible. Here's my battery holder. So this is the battery holder that would fit on the inside, I'm hoping, of the sort of control cavity of my uh, Paul Reed Smith guitar. You can see how it sort of can mount on the side maybe. I don't know. But I'm hoping I don't have to do any more routing to the back of the body. But if I have to, I will in the sake of experimentation. Um, so yeah, I'm going to build, I guess, four different buffers, right? So we have this buffer, we have this buffer, because there's similarities also in here, and plus the chip is the same. I'm going to build this buffer, which is the clon buffer, and then ultimately, after all that, is I will uh, build my JCF preamp, with treble boost buffer clone based on the trace that I'm doing. So anyway, this is a eight minute, nine minute video of me talking about my approach. So hopefully there's added value with that. Hope you guys um, are really interested in what's next because I am. And I want to give a quick update about, you know, the process, where I am, where I source my parts. All these sorts of questions come up every time I post a video. So I wanted to start answering those uh, with some mini-series videos. Hope everyone has a good weekend, and we'll talk soon.